I also love bay in anything that's braised or stewed. This is from Tracy Z on Facebook. What flavor does the bay leaf add in your recipes? Oh, well, I bay leaf, funny. I, oh, it's for you. I Never love mind. that question. Thank you. Uh, fresh bay leaf tastes much richer and more floral than dry bay leaf. So I always buy fresh, and they last for weeks, by the way. And I put bay in most dishes with um, onion, with a lot of onion, like an ala amatriciana sauce. Has a lot of onion and a little pancetta or guanciale to, to start the sauce. I also love bay in anything that's braised or stewed. So it's a time of year where you really want that around. And it's wonderful and fragrant in mulled cocktails and mulled mm. wine. And in um, uh, just even in if you put out uh, clove studded oranges at the holidays, I always put fresh bay in with that. Or you can make wreaths out of it. But those are the dishes you should try it in, and then you'll be hooked on it. It's also great on skewers. If you kebab something, you really get that fragrance into every piece of protein that you mix and match with it. Oh, we'll have to try that outside on the grill. Yes. Well, we have. Thanks for paying attention. Who? What? <laughs> this is from Bob Ross underscore applesauce on Instagram. Has Bella learned any new tricks at puppy school? Oh, fabulous. Yes. She, uh, every day, it, the, the school is called Dog Logic. Elizabeth. Um, Elizabeth Lajeunez is the woman who created the program there. Um, she's authored a, a brilliant uh, mm -hmm. book on, on training animals. She trained us to train Bella. Mm -hmm. um, but at school, they really worked on her back legs because she's very um, tiny on the back end, very big on the front end. She has a big, strong chest because she's half pit bull. Uh, and she needed more strength training in her back legs. So she does a lot of jumps and, and games and tricks with Elizabeth that help build her strengths in the areas where she needs that. Of course, agility um, and how to play nice with others. Yeah, socialization was a big part of it. Socialization is really what we were concerned about because we got her, of course, during a pandemic. And, you know, we, we couldn't go to our normal life in uh, New York City. So we're here in the middle of the mountains. We needed her to learn how to be around dogs and people. So Elizabeth did a lot of training with her. Um, also at the Home Depot. Home <laughs> Depot, at the tractor supply store, and with Maria, dogs. yeah, the whole family trains her, and Maria take, loves to take her to tractor supply. <laughs> uh, okay, we got one more. From Kathy F. on Facebook. Adore you. You guys are my AM happy hour every day. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Well, especially on Fridays. Yeah. John, if you had to choose one band that always makes you want to dance, who would it be? Mine is Yes. Okay, well, let me just interject something. John doesn't dance, which is ironic because he's a great front man on stage. He climbs all over I everything. Dance in he my jumps. Mind. He, but he does not dance. But, you know, I, I think she's just asking what kind of music kind of gets your, revs your engines. It's obvious. Kiss, of course. I knew he was going to say Kiss, it. Full stop. Kiss, full stop. <laughs> Kiss, Mwah. full stop.